preserving the cultural heritage in a living form through transmission of the knowledge from one generation to the next. This is how the School of Living Tradition, or SLT, under the NCCA's Program for the Conservation of Cultural Heritage, approached the preservation of cultural heritage. A School of Living Traditions provides a venue where a cultural master shares his or her skills and techniques of a traditional art form to a group of interested youth. From 2011 to 2013, 55 schools of living traditions were implemented in 11 provinces in Mindanao. These include crafts such as mat weaving, pottery, traditional attire, and accessories making. The idea behind this program is to transfer these skills and techniques to the younger generations in order for the craft to continue. One example of this is the School of Living Traditions on Higaonan Mat Weaving in Sayawan in Pasugong. Through teaching the different mat designs, it has become a source of learning among Higaonan in the community. Women of different ages also learned how to make bags and mats by using the traditional Higaonan weaving techniques and designs. Through the program, the younger members of the community also learned the indigenous knowledge of mat weaving. Ano po yung nakitang pagbabago po sa mga estudyante pagkatapos ng training? Masayang-masaya. Masayang-masaya sila mong. Kasi kabi nila, marunong na kami. The School of Living Traditions on Subanin sa Piay Weaving in Barangay Bantal, Bayog, Zamboanga del Sur was spearheaded in 2012. The program allows the student to take initiatives and discover art form of Subanin crafts and its traditional designs. It aims to revive the tradition of making the Subanin sa Piay or the mat made of rattan. Through the program, the students learned how to clean the raw materials and make it to strips and the different tools and techniques needed in order to produce the traditional sapiay. The schools of living traditions also include performing arts such as dance and instruments making and playing. One example of this is the School of Living Traditions on Subanin Dances and Musical Instruments in Sitio Ginikulalay, Dinas, Zamboanga del Sur, that was spearheaded in 2010. It was intended to revive the performing arts tradition of Subanin community, including the process of making traditional Subanin musical instruments. Through the program, the students were able to learn how to dance the Subanin dances such as Saot, Talak, and Pangalay and played the musical instruments such as kutyapi, soling, kumbing, and agum. Through their skills, the students have been invited to perform in celebrations. The School of Living Traditions in Josefina, Zamboanga del Sur, was able to implement a project that would be able to revive the beadwork tradition of the Subanan community. The students were able to produce bracelets, necklaces, and ID holders that were approved by the masters. Through the program, the students learned how to make kalang, garitis, sabat, and batangan yawe. The School of Living Traditions in Lakewood, Zamboanga del Sur, aims to preserve and promote the Subanan traditional art of embroidery and clothing. In the past, makers of Subanan embroidery used royal poplin or dlahu. Since the said material is no longer available, cultural masters have decided to use charm use instead. Through the program, the students now are already equipped with knowledge and skills on Subanan embroidery and billing hat making. The School of Living Traditions on Maguindanao Kolintang Playing in Labangan, Zamboanga del Sur trains the student using a set of kolintangan and sam. It is composed of kolintang, agung, a set of gandingan, and bakan. 
To make the students adept in dancing, the master encouraged them to observe and familiarize with all the dances. Students have performed in various celebrations such as opening of the schools of living traditions and conferences. The idea to come up with a school of living traditions on Sabanin music, cultures, and practices was conceived after the realization that there are very few written accounts of their music and oral traditions. The program also focused on the dances and chants. So then, a dance performed by males while holding a shield called lasag was taught to the males. While Kalek, a dance performed by females while holding curled rotan leaves called kumpas was taught to the females. Through the program, the students became skilled on Sabanan performing arts and became aware and proud of their culture. The School of Living Traditions on Blaan Traditional Clothing of the Blaan Community of Mabila Sarangani sought to promote Blaan Traditional Clothing as an integral part of their heritage. Students of the School of Living Traditions were taught how to cut the cloth and sew it into a dress. The traditional designs such as sun, cloud, mountain, and plants were also taught. Aside from learning how to make and design the attire, students also learned the symbolisms of the colors in the attire. This enabled the students to understand the craft more fully. Students of the School of Living Traditions on Sanger Cultural Dance and Musical Instruments Playing were given lessons on Sanger culture. The lessons focused on teaching students how to play different musical instruments such as kubing, soring, kulintang, balabade, and nanaungang. Aside from teaching students how to play the said instruments, the masters also focused on dances. After the theoretical component, the training advanced to practical application. The School of Living Traditions on Bagobo Musical Instrument Making and Playing aims to transfer the craft and skills to the younger generations. Through the program, the students were able to produce instruments such as Togo, Lantoy, Tabogok, Kulintang, and Gimbar. Through lecture and hands-on training, the program was also able to train the students in playing the said instruments. These schools of living traditions are just some of the programs that are implemented all over the country. From Luzon to Mindanao, hundreds of schools of living traditions serve as bastions of preservation and protection of intangible heritage. Since 1995, the schools of living traditions under the NCCA's Program for the Conservation of Cultural Heritage continue its legacy of touching the lives of over a thousand students in different provinces. As the cultural masters teach their techniques in weaving or skills in dancing and playing musical instruments, we are assured that the deep traditions and identities alongside the crafts and performing arts are transferred from one generation to the next. <laughs>